Hello everyone, join me to learn how to make this knitted bobble hat by Paint Bob Yarns. Let me show you everything you'll need. For this project you'll need one ball of Paint Box Yarns Baby DK prints, a pair of 3.25mm needles and a pair of 4mm needles. You don't need to knit this on circular needles, you can knit this on straight needles because we're going to be knitting it flat and then seaming the hat up at the end. You'll also need a 2.5cm pom-pom maker as well as a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle. To start, I'm going to take my 3.25mm needles. The pattern goes all the way up to age 18 to 24 months, but today I'm going to be making age 0 to 3 months. So I'm going to start by casting on 74 stitches. So I'm going to start with my slip knot and then cast on 74 stitches. Now I've casted on 74 stitches, I'm going to start the rib stitch, which makes up the rim of the hat. So to start, I'm going to knit two stitches. So it's one, two, followed by purling two stitches. One, two. And I'm going to continue that pattern of knitting two stitches and purling two stitches all the way to the end of the row. And I will end on two knitted stitches. After my first rib row, I'm going to continue the rib pattern by starting with purling two stitches. And then I'm going to knit two stitches. And we'll continue purling two and then knitting two all the way to the end of the row where I'll finish with two purl stitches. Now to complete the rib section of the hat, we're going to work eight rows in total of this rib stitch pattern. On the eighth and last row of my rib stitch section, I'm going to decrease one stitch at the end of the row. So to do this, I'm just going to purl those two stitches together. And that will take my total stitch count from 74 to 73 stitches. Then I'm going to start knitting the body of the hat, so this section of the hat. And to do that, I'm going to start using my 4mm needles. So the first row of this section is a knit row. So I'm just going to knit all the stitches on this row all the way to the end. And the next row is going to be a purl row. So I'm going to purl all the stitches all the way to the end of the row. And then I'm going to repeat those two rows, so knitting one row and purling one row, until I have 20 rows in total after this rib section. Now I've worked 20 rows in stockinette stitch, which is knitting one row, then purling the next, I'm going to work the shaping of the top of the hat. And we do this by decreasing the number of stitches across several rows. So for the first decrease row, I'm going to knit four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to knit two stitches together. And I'm gonna do that 12 times across the row. So one, two, three, four, knit two together. And after my last decrease, I'm left with just one stitch on my needle, which I'm just going to knit. And then for the next three rows, I'm going to work them in stockinette stitch, which is purl, knit, purl. 
For my second decrease row, I'm going to knit three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to knit two stitches together. And again, I'm going to repeat this 12 times to the end of the row where I'll be left with just one stitch, which I'll knit. So there's my last stitch, which I will just knit. And again, I'm going to work three rows in stockinette stitch. So that's purl one row, knit the next, and then purl the third row. For my third decrease row, I'm going to knit two stitches. And then I'm going to knit two together. And again, I'm going to do this 12 times in total to the end of the row where I'll just have one stitch left over, which I'll knit. And then instead of working three rows in stockinette stitch, I'm just going to purl one row after this decrease row. So there's my last stitch, which I'll just knit. And then I'm going to work one row by purling. Now I'm on the fourth decrease row. I'm just going to knit one stitch and then knit two together. And I'm going to repeat that 12 times all the way across the row to the end, where I'll have just one stitch left, which I'll knit. And after this decrease row, I'll work just one purl row.
And there's my last stitch, which I'll just knit before going on to purl just one row. For the fifth decrease row, I'm just going to knit two together and I'm going to repeat that 12 times all the way across the row where again I'll be left with just one stitch which I'll knit. Then I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to work my last decrease row on this side, the wrong side of my work. And I'm just going to purl one and then I'm going to do purl two together and I'm going to repeat purling two together all the way across the row. And that should leave me with seven stitches. So I can now snip my yarn and then I will thread this yarn through the remaining seven stitches. And then I can secure that tightly before going on to seam the, two, the hat together. To seam the two sides of the hat together, I'm going to use mattress stitch. So I've taken a new length of yarn instead of using one of my existing tails, because if I was to pull too tight during seaming, I could break this tail and I definitely, definitely don't want that. So with the hat folded, so the wrong sides are facing each other, I'm going to insert my yarn into two bars in between my first two knit stitches. So I'm going to be working with these bars all the way up the seam of the hat. So I'll go underneath two. And then I'll go through the same two on the other side. And I'm going to continue going underneath two of those bars on the alternating sides all the way up the seam of the hat. And when I've got a few done, you can pull the yarn tight and it will sh shut your seam. So you can see that's given us a really nice, almost invisible seam. And when it gets to the top, all you need to do is secure your ends and weave them all in. And then all that's left for me to do is to make my pom-pom and secure that to the hat. And there you have it, a super simple knitted bobble hat.